Hi there, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial brought to you by the Network King. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make bullet holes. And I don't know where it can be used, but it's good if you know how to make bullet holes. So let's get started with the new file, file, new, and take a big paper, which should be web and we're going to fill it with black color paint bucket tool foreground is black and just click now we have a black background create a new layer and take the rectangular marquee tool and make a small rectangle which should cover the whole area the whole document and I'm going to fill it with white color and I'm going to switch this color and holding this button small button and I'm going to just fill it I'm going to go to select deselect with the layer one selected go to filter and select stylus wind and I'm just going to show you method should be wind direction should be from the left not from the right from the left click on ok and we're going to go once more win control f shortcut so now we have more lines and now we're going to go to edit no actually image and in photoshop cs2 or lower versions it should be rotate image in photoshop cs3 and cs4 it's image rotation and we're going to go to 90 degree clockwise now that image is rotated go to filter distort select polar coordinates and rectangular to polar not polar to rectangular rectangular to polar and now we have a hole now what we can do is we have to invert it go to select and layer image just give me a second hit control i over the layer one and on the background layer control i repeat control i to invert and i'm going to just place this layer one over here and what we can do extra is go to pixelate crystallize and give some crystal effect about cell size about 122 and there we have it our bullet hole is ready just reduce the size control T for transform and there we have it you can make a good background you can write a text out of it you can make a text and shoot it with bullets like this and there you have it thanks for watching this tutorial too and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and if you have any doubts write an email to me on my email address which is sadali13 at the rate of yahoo.com spelled s a a d at the rate of yahoo.com Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching this tutorial.